Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at the five best AI tools for UX designers and we're going to start right now. So the first one, this absolutely blew me away. It's Galileo AI. So a couple of months ago I heard about these tools where they could take uh, basically a sketch or a wireframe or even some text and put it into uh, a Figma design. I tried it, it wasn't that good. And that's when uh, I, I, someone told me about Galileo recently, so I thought I'd check it out again. And it's absolutely blowing me away. So it's free to sign up. I think you get free designs. So what it actually is, you, you sign in, and then you can basically give it some text prompts. So there's two ways to do it. It's text or image. So I said I'm trying to create an app that helps people find the local farmer's market. And then it basically, it's, it's a bit of a mix between a chatbot and the designer. So I said, okay, here's some screens that I want, I'm going to make. What do you think? So I said, okay, please add this, this, and this. And then essentially it spit out this, which was about eight screens for an application. It took about 30 seconds to do. And the thing that blew me away is the design is actually very nice. It's um, it's not as templated as it used to be. It used to just be for very, uh, very simple front-end sites. But now it can make apps um, and... With each one of these files, you can actually edit it and you can pull it into Figma. You can copy and paste it. At the bottom, it says edit theme. You can put it, I said, give me a dark mode. It gives me one in seconds. Um, it's not perfect, but it's a great place to start for designs. So I, I think it's well worth a trial and to get your free designs for free. You just click the Figma button and it copies and pastes them onto the artboard and you can pull it over. But then the next thing I did, I went over into the image. I give it, a, you can't see it here, it's a very bad sketch of an app. And I said, here's a splash screen, uh, make it for me. And then it, it essentially mocked it up. Um, I put an image in there. It put buttons with text. Now, to take a very bad napkin sketch and to make a UI design, that's not... It's not bad. It's a good place to start. Um, absolutely blew me away. These tools, um, I, I see this UI part of design is going to get squashed and squashed and squashed, which is why it's important for UX designers to concentrate on talking to users and finding out what products we're going to make. But this tool blew me away. So the next one is Perplexity AI. So this is very much uh, similar to, it's basically the next evolution of search engines. Uh, very similar to Google. Uh, there's no ads on it, so it, it's nice and clean at the moment. It's free to use. So you, you, there's a couple of things that make this stand out. So you ask it a question. Uh, so I said, what is a, t a persona in terms of UI UX? And you can see it gives me an answer, but the answer is basically pulls from different sources and it tells me the sources where it pulled from. It also pulls images up on the right-hand side and it pulls videos in from YouTube. So it basically scours the internet and brings all the sources to you. So it's an excellent form of research. And then basically it has context of what you've asked it and you can ask it follow-up questions, like you can ask it to then help you create a persona and it will do. So Perplexity AI, it's essentially... I go there now. I know people who've got it as a desktop, uh, basically the default for the browser, uh, the home screen. It, it's the next evolution of essentially um, search engines. So then uh, the next one is ChatGPT. I think everyone's probably heard of this, but there's some unique things that you can use ChatGPT for. So this is where we come on to synthetic users. So a really useful use case for ChatGPT is when you're doing your personas and you're doing surveys. So a lot of the times um, you might not be able to have access to customers. So you can ask the chatbot to assume the role of a persona and you give it some information about your target audience and you can start asking it questions and it's not a real person, but it has great context and it pulls up some interesting things that you can then use in your research. Another great thing is um, surveys are expensive to do. You can give it your survey questions. You can say, assume the persona of 100 users within this category, and then it can export it as an Excel document. Um, it, it spat it out for me, the data there, that you can then analyze. And it's not as good as doing it in real life, but it does give you some insights and it's free to use. So that's an interesting way you can use ChatGPT for synthetic users. So the next one, this is kind of like the um, the mystery prize. Uh, it's called HeyGen. So HeyGen's very, very interesting. I know uh, presenting our work is very important as designers, but these um, basically digital avatars are getting more and more uh, better each year. So uh, you can use one of the avatars they have. You can uh, basically give it an image or a reference video of yourself. Then you can give it some text and it spits out a video that does look and sound like you. It's pretty amazing. 
Then the next one is Dali. So Dali is the brother of um, ChatGPT. It's made by OpenAI. It's essentially images, but what's great is you can use it for lots of different things in your project. So I just put here an image of a UX designer uh, uh, interviewing people at farmers markets. So it, images like this are really good to put in your portfolio and your case studies to um, tell stories. It's really good. Um, you can see you can generate multiple ones and the quality is really good. Really good at creating uh, royalty-free images. So I could get it to generate images of fruit stalls uh, and this and that to pull it. Very specific things to put into my case study. But also I said, go ahead and create me a logo for the app. Um, it does a nice job. It gives you some ideas on a place to start. So here it's pulled it into a phone. I actually quite like that. But uh, I, could, I could give it some more prompts and say remove it from the phone. But all in all, these tools are getting more and more powerful each year. But if you actually want to learn how to use these tools to become a UI UX designer, check out my free course. Uh, the link's in the description. It's the fastest way to go from um, no experience to hopefully career ready. So do check it out. There's a free introduction course. Stick around for the next video.